neutrophils are a type of white blood cells, estimated that they make up about 50 to 70 percent of an individual's white blood cells. Doctors use the absolute neutrophil count, ANC to track the concentration of neutrophils in a person's body. ANC is a blood test that is done to show the number of neutrophils in a cubic millimeter of a person's blood. In the body, White blood cells are used to fight foreign substances or infections. Neutrophils are released in larger amounts when a person has an injury, an infection, an inflammation, or some kind of illness. These are the first body defense cells to be released when an individual has an infection, an injury, stress, or some other kind of medical conditions. You can find them everywhere in the body, they move freely even through walls of veins to enter any tissue of the body to invade any antigens they come across. Doctors order for absolute neutrophil count, ANC to help get clues about the health of an individual. An ANC test is in most cases ordered when doctors are doing complete blood count, CBC, test with differential. Since the CBC test measures the concentration of cells found in the body, a doctor may order an ANC during the CBC test to help in the following. Help diagnose an illness or health condition. To screen an individual for a number of health conditions. To monitor the status of an individual if they have an existing disease. This helps to show how they are responding the medication. It can also be done to check how a patient is responding to chemotherapy. In situations where the ANC is seen to be normal, the doctor may want to have the blood test repeated several times over a certain period. This allows them to monitor any changes in concentrations of neutrophils in body as indicated by the neutrophil count. When conducting the tests a phlebotomist draws small amount of blood from an individual's vein in the arm. It can be done in the lab or a doctor's office. The blood is then taken to the laboratory for evaluation before the results are sent to the doctor. Having certain health conditions may affect the results of a person's blood tests, so you may want to let the doctor know about conditions like pregnancy, a recent infection, a recent surgery, corticosteroid therapy, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, HIV, and anxiety. <laughs> The ANC test results may vary depending on the lab facility they have been evaluated and the age, gender, heritage, your residence compared to sea level, and instruments used to test the specimens. The adult normal cell count for neutrophils is about 1,500 to 8,000 or 1.5 to 8.0 neutrophils per microliters, EMSL. The adult normal range based on differential readings are about 45 to 75 percent of neutrophils in total white blood cells. <laughs> Low levels of neutrophils occurs when the readings are below 1.5 microliters or less than 45 percent of total white blood cells. If the levels of neutrophils are between 1.0 to 1.5 microliters, it is considered mild, and if they are between 0.5 and 1.0 microliters, it is considered moderately low levels. Severe low levels of neutrophils are indicated by a reading less than 0.5 microliters. If the test results indicate that there are more than 8,000 neutrophils per microliter 8.0 microliter, it means there are high levels of these white blood cells in an individual's body. <laughs> Neutrophilia is the name given to the condition of having a high percentage of neutrophils in a person's blood. It is a sign that a person has an infection, injury, inflammation, or a medical condition. It could also point to an underlying condition like surgery, high stress levels, smoking cigarettes or even sniffing tobacco, heart attacks, steroid use, chronic myeloid leukemia, and excessive exercise. Some medications can lead to increased concentrations of neutrophils in blood for example, lithium, corticosteroids, and carbonate. When a person is under stress, the immune system releases more of neutrophils to help fight any potential invaders. The stress could be due to something like pregnancy, exercise, or emotional stress. 
When you have indulged in vigorous exercises, the body releases neutrophils about eight times higher and when they reach the tissue, they may realize that no pathogens are found in the area, so they die off and give the muscles added nutrition. The term given to low levels of neutrophils in body is neutropenia, and in most cases, it is associated with drugs or medications people are taking, however, at other times, it could indicate a sign of an illness or other factors. People may have neutropenia or low neutrophil concentrations in blood if they take drugs like those for chemotherapy, have suppressed immune system, have aplastic anemia, are experiencing bone marrow failure, have leukemia, have sepsis, suffer from HIV slash AIDS, have hepatitis A, B, or C, have febrile neutropenia, a medical emergency, suffer from congenital disorders like Korstman syndrome or cyclic neutropenia, have autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, suffer from myelodysplastic syndromes. Conditions that damage or destroy neutrophils in blood may contribute to low counts of neutrophils and they include use of medications like antibiotics and hypersplenism in which the spleen is abnormal, something that causes blood cell destruction. Autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis also destroy neutrophils in blood leading to neutropenia. When people have a neutrophil count that is below 1500 per microliter, they are at risk of having infections. Having extremely low levels of neutrophils could result in life-threatening infections because the body may not be able to fight off the infection. In essence, the amount of neutrophils you have in blood may show clues about your health status. It could mean you have an infection in your body or you are having stress that is triggering an increased amount of neutrophils in blood. It could occur as a symptom of an illness. Low neutrophils can last for a couple of weeks or be chronic depending on the cause. Depending on the results of the ANC test and other tests ordered by a doctor, as well as the past medical history of the patient, a doctor can come up with a treatment plan to treat the cause of the low or high neutrophil counts. Remember that both high and low neutrophils in blood can indicate a disease or an illness. Sometimes, it could just be a response to the state of the body for example, after having surgery, or when your body is undergoing stress. If you have found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, Health Destination.